you ever waiting forever for a braid out to dry maybe you couldn't do it overnight you had to do it during the day and you don't know what to do i really wish i would have thought of this last year and it seems like such a simple concept but because i didn't think of it i'm sharing it with you to just throw on a hat and go uh this hat i actually got from h&m last year and i couldn't wear it that often because i always had my big curly hair and it doesn't really work well with that so this is just some variations of wearing it with the braid out. You can have the braids out underneath or completely tucked in. Or you could even pull it back up top to just show that you're not bald. <laughs> the same thing with this hat. This is somewhat of a beanie. It's similar to the other one, but um, it's a little different. Again, pushing the hat back up top just to show the braids, show that you got some hair. Oh my god the warmest hat in the world i swear i used to hate these things and i got this for a gift last year and i wore it maybe twice with like you know a two strand twist i'm wearing this all the time this winter so freaking warm all right so now if you want to get a little more creative with it you can actually pin all your braids up it does not have to be neat at all um and just put some clipping extensions in uh, I actually made these if you've seen the video um, you know exactly how I did it if not you can also check that out here uh, but it's a really really simple concept I mean you can wear wigs too but wigs good wigs are very expensive uh, this pack of hair cost 50 bucks it's much more affordable than spending three to seven hundred dollars on a wig um, so clip-ins hat one of my favorite looks this fall and winter The problem with wearing this beanie with the braids and the extensions is that you can see the braid underneath. So what I do to kind of distract the uh, the eyes from the bump that's under your hat, I put in this clip and bang that I made. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the uh, the position of the braid. So like right here, you could still see it, and it still looks a little whacked out. But um, but with the brown hat, it actually looks much better. You see, I don't. It's just the hat, like I said, and the circumstances. And I always like to take the bang out for this hat. I think this hat just works better with no hair in your face. And I think it is so cute. I can't believe I always used to hate these hats. <laughs> so when you are all dried up, you take out the hair, you take off the hats, and you keep it moving with your curly day. Um, I hope this gave anybody any kind of ideas, inspired you to continue to be uh, fabulously curly. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.